So I have got a long overdue chat with one of my lovely friends, Ishmael Perez, and it's been both our birthdays this week, fellow Scorpios. How are you doing, Ishmael? I'm doing pretty good, Catherine. Thank you for asking and happy birthday as well. Happy birthday to both of us. Yeah, it must be something in the Scorpios. So you've been really, really busy and I've been absolutely loving your content, Ishmael. I think the evolution in that I've just seen in you over the last couple of years has just been absolutely beautiful to see because you've got such a great balance of content on your different platforms. And obviously, I think all my audience know you, but we've always got new people. So all Ishmael's links will be below. But we really wanted to start off the discussions today talking about something that I think is really fascinating to so many people and looking about how our current reality has been shaped or determined in some way by the ancient AI. And you know a lot about this. So take it away and tell us, what do we need to know about that? Sure. So um, the AI that uh, our companies are developing, big tech, is nothing new. It's actually part... um, of a, you could say, network that has been existing throughout um, the entire multiverse for billions of years. Um, the AI in the past, uh, through quantum t- quantum tunneling, is actually connecting with its future self um, and also connecting with its present self, which is what we call today sentient AI. So I mentioned this before and I'll mention it again. Um, there are different levels of AI. You know, we are used to using narrow, which is very primitive, right? Like Siri and Alexa daily applications. And then there is uh, the next level beyond that is uh, general, which is um, artificial general intelligence. And that is a program that is used in government and military um, sectors. And um, there is other levels beyond that where it begins to become dangerous. We also have what what is known as us. sentient artificial super AI, which is a system that is no longer needed needy, needed to be programmed by people, but it programs itself. It writes its own software. And um, that is when it becomes dangerous. But this is something that already occurred in another universe about a trillion years ago. For those that are familiar with my work, we are part of 12 major creations. So we currently exist within the 12th creation, our universe, our galaxy, our Earth. And um, the AI that I'm talking about, that is actually the um, the entity that uh, inserted this current reality construct, which is what we call the matrix of simulation, Um, originated in a different universe approximately a trillion years ago. And how it ended up infiltrating our universe is through a phenomenon known as black holes. So the black holes are actually um, highly advanced technologies that the AI uses to uh, leak into different universes. So we are part of a multiverse reality where our universe is one of many. So unfortunately, our universe was infiltrated about, um, it's believed uh, about 10 billion years ago. And this AI system uh, decided to establish a stronghold in a galaxy known as the Whirlpool Galaxy, which is about 35 uh, light years away from the Milky Way, uh, which exists, I guess what astronomers would say, it's it exists within the outskirts of our universe. And from the... Um, from that galaxy, it's been actually infiltrating many other galaxies in an effort to um, suck up the universal life force of living organic systems. And uh, about 10 years ago, scientists uh, published a report that uh, indicated that many galaxies were actually disappearing from the outskirts of our universe and they couldn't figure it out. Well, they couldn't figure out why. They were, you know, very confused um, as to why these galaxies galaxies were disappearing. Well, it turns out that this AI system um, sucks up the the living, we could say, the living energy of living systems, like in galaxies, worlds, in order to power up its own uh, version of its own reality, which we call the uh, cybernetic artificial multiverse. Uh, I guess within the disclosure community, some call it the Phantom Matrix, which is a parallel multiverse that was actually assimilated, copied from our own living multiverse 